Hey guys, welcome to Door Kickers. This is a game from 2014, which I've only just found. But with Door Kickers 2 just out, which is the more military side version of this game, this being the more SWAT side, I wanted to try it out and oh my god, I am in love with this thing. This is so much fun. And if you have a computer that's not exactly high end, it will run just great. It's a fantastic game, top down tactical combat. We're going to take a look at one of the campaigns today and have some fun with this because it is a ton of fun. So, let us take on the campaign. Or one of the multiple campaigns, actually. But we'll do this one. Because I have a vague idea what I'm doing. So we have a missing person search at 2125 Milford Heights. And I will show you what I mean once we get into the first mission. This. So like I say, it's top down. You get to deploy your forces. Obviously, I already have my forces Lock here. So Let's do this. We're going to pick the lock whilst okay. this guy moves into position and shield moves to here. Cover them. You have to position and use your guys. So, for example, I can make this guy right click, look in a certain direction and cover a certain arc. I can move him in a certain arc. And I can even set to, for example, face a certain way whilst he moves a certain way. So, it's actually really, really cool. Once we've picked the lock, we're going to put a flashbang in the door and go in. Door unlocked. So we drag that onto the door. Put the flashbang in. And Flash out. you're going this way. You're going this way. You're going this way. And you, sir, are going to cover here. Okay. Uh, Cops are here. It's right down. It is absolute slick movement once you get the drills right to know where you want to cover things. Okay, so they're good there. So you're gonna come in here. Okay. You're gonna Roger. go in there. Got it. And you're gonna back this guy up in here. Okay. We'll flash this room first just to make sure we're flash good. Looks clear. On your mark. We are in fact good. So no one there. Got it. One in the cupboard, down. and he's down. Good job. Boom. We're done here. Hostage unfortunately was barbecued, but you know, in the bathtub, as you do. The missions follow a very sim similar, should we say, strategy, just different scales, different sizes, different workloads. Next one being electronic store. This one's bad. Sometimes you'll have time limits in terms of how you can save Lock hostages. So I'm going to move this guy to here, so we can cover the window. This guy will be putting the flashbang into the room in the main area. So once he's done that, we'll be moving straight through the upper part of the area. Okay. He'll be coming down here, covering those lower doors. Leave the guy outside covering that. Awesome. Okay, so as soon as that door at the end of the corridor opens, let's put that flashbang in there. Let's get in here. Put a second flashbang in there. Tango Make sure we keep the guy down because there is another suspect in the room. He is down. Oh, we've got a lost guy. No contact. This side of the door. Suspect so down. We're done here. Unfortunately, I lost a guy in this mission, so we had a casualty. We'll find out in a minute if he was dead or injured. I believe he will be dead, unfortunately. Which does suck. Yes, we lost a guy. So this will happen during these missions, you'll lose people, you'll gain people, and if you're in the campaign mode, you will actually have to build up your squad, you'll be able to train them in different weapons, different uh, doctrines, we have shields, we have different uh, entry strategies and styles. Now this one is a gang shootout on 71st Street Station. So, while I do this, I'm going to re-equip one of these guys to be a breacher instead. So we give him his extended protection armor. We've got our shotgun. Go for our routine the secondary. You're not going to be breaching, so you can carry more flashbangs. Lock and load. Okay, let's so let's get this thing set up. Flashbang into the main room. 
onto the platform, I should say. This is the train station. Same thing here. Flash out. Cops are here. So Roger. as they have their directions, okay. they're going to be traveling. Affirmative. We give everyone their movement Let's orders. Go. To get them into position for what we need to do here. I'm on it. Covering the door there. I'm on it. And I'm on this way. It. The more efficient you move, the more you cover angles. The more effectively you take everyone down. Look at that. Boom. Done. One set of movements. That was over in 11 seconds. Sometimes missions can be incredibly quick. If you plan properly and get the movement down right, it can be real efficient and real fun. So this one is a raid and a drug lab. Now this one I've played before, it is nasty by virtue of how just crazy it is. So Lock and load. Let's do this. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted to do there. Okay, so let's bring up Shield Boy to here to cover us in the doorway. Who's there? Because there could be someone in the door. If you hear that, that's unfortunately likely to happen. Alright, so let's move to here. Let's get stacked and ready for movement. Affirmative. They're getting rid of the dope in position. They're bashing the evidence. Okay, that's locked. That's unfortunate. Oh no, well he just made that easier. Spang the corridor. Let's get these guys moving in here. Okay. Oh, man down. That got messy. Let's get through here. Let's get someone in cover there. The over there. Move more forces through into this second room here. Looks clear. They're getting rid of the dope. We oh, need they're trying to, to destroy them. more of it. They're bashing the evidence. Flash out. Roger. We need you in there. Tango down. They're bashing the evidence. You're gonna get in here. Covering. Let's get some of this stuff stopped. They're bashing the evidence. Need they're you to cover the corridor. The they're bashing the evidence. You can They're come into the main the lobby evidence. area as well. On target, no tangos. On your mark. Let's see if we can They're stop the drug the removal. Surrender. We need to stop them. Come on, surrender. knock it off. Roger. Okay, we stopped the drug uh, takedown. We only lost one man, which is unfortunate. Okay. Some of these missions, you just by virtue Roger. will lose a couple of people. So let's get these. Uh, I think we might have lost all those drugs there. Evidence was destroyed. That is unfortunate. But we have got some. Got it. Hands behind your back. Let's cuff him. Suspect secured. You can secure your suspects and arrest them. Okay, so what have we got here? There's nothing to pick up there. We'll move forward with this guy here. I'm on it. No tangos. Hands behind your back. Alright, let's collect all this last stuff. On target. Got the dope. Alright, okay, let me find the right guy here if I can click one of them. There we go, let's pick up the dope. Intel acquired. So you got that one? Yes, he has. No contact. I can't pick that one up for some reason. Let's see if he can. In position. Yes, he can. There we go, fantastic. So once we've got that taken care of. I'm on it. Let's go bang Flash this room. Out. Move Evidence in and clear it. This may just be evidence collection at this phase, but we want to make sure we've got him. Okay. Let's check the last corner here. Move back I'm out to join our friend here, who is going to bang the office. On your mark. Flash out. You're going to go that way, and you're going to go that way. No okay, contact. office is clear. So, we'll give him orders to pick up that evidence. You give him orders to pick up that evidence. We have secured drugs, and we have secured prisoners. So... It was a successful raid, even though one man went down. But with a kill funnel like that way, that way, and that way, it's hard. This is where you've got to get out of the fatal funnels, aka doorways, which make life incredibly difficult. Good job. We're done here. Yeah, took some time, lost a casualty, but this will happen in these games. All right, so we have a drug dealer arrest, and then we have a hostage situation. These are optional, but they're always good to do. Extra points. So it's a warrant takedown. Lock and load. Let's do this. So he will move I'm to on. here. 
I'm going to use my face a direction to get this guy to face down here. Okay. Move there. And move him to there. We'll move him to here. And we will shotgun that open. And we'll stack a couple of guys behind him so they're ready to move. Okay, they're down. That's good. Let's bang the main room and get in there. Ooh, that was nasty. We lost someone there. Right, planning mode. Cancel that. Ooh. Yeah, you will lose people in these missions. Especially in the campaign. The difficulty level is significant. Okay, he's good. Let's move in and clear this. And my second entry team. Let's move the shield guys down into the house. And then we'll have the upper floor to take care of as well. So let's give them the order to go upstairs. Well, apparently I've only got two guys this time. Which is unfortunate. Oh, I can send more people upstairs. That is useful. There we go. Let's move a couple more guys to the upstairs area so we can use them to help us clear it. Whilst you clear the bathroom. Because that's kind of important. We have areas we haven't checked. Let's look under the doorway here, shall we, and see what we've got. Inside. So we've got a hostile immediately inside the door. So we're going to blow the door, because screw you, bad guy, on the back of the door. Okay, on target. Charge in position. They go down. They're here! <laughs> that is so much fun. Got it. We'll go. Okay. okay, our guys have their directions to move in. Single person clears three small rooms are a good idea. This way we actually can actually... Got Cover more turf without making a mess of this. That's our suspect. Let's arrest him and call this one a day. Nice. So one casualty, suspect secured. Fast time. That will do us just nicely. So once you learn the flexibility of the game, you will find that obviously your injured persons or severe injuries, more minor, will be an orange. You'll level up your squad, you'll be able to take Doctrine points. These allow you to do things like transitioning from primary to secondary weapon, or being able to hit vital zones of the body, be able to drill past cover, all super useful. What's this one? Stealth class, holds fire. One shot breach. That is useful to have, so I'll take that point. In terms of your roster, you can upgrade to different equipment, plate carriers, front plates only. We have the extended protection right now, which does slow down movement, but does generally improve performance. So this is my breacher guy, for example. So I'm actually going to run him onto a plate carrier, make him more maneuverable. We should help with breaching. Okay. So did I just drop out of my campaign? I did. There we go. Final mission now. So this one is a hospital hostage rescue situation at Preston General Hospital. Now, do we all go in one direction, or do we go for two? I'm going to say we all go for two here, so we'll move our guys over to this side. Actually, no, we'll go with the two side entry. This seems like a good idea. We'll do that. Lock and load. Let's do this. Okay. So this is locked. That one I don't think is locked. If I check with this, I can just go straight to it. So. Okay, that kicked it off without me trying to. That's going to get someone killed, of course. God damn it. I'm restarting this level. That is annoying when they somehow decide to do things without really when you want them to. So let's pick this first. We'll try and distract them with the second entry team before the first one goes in the main doors. Because that is a complete death funnel. You're always going to lose somebody. Door unlocked. Let's quickly scope it, see what we've got to deal with here. This area is clear. So. Got it. Who's there? Oh, no, there's one around that corner we couldn't quite see from the angle of the entry. No contact. Looks clear. So, team no 
Bravo tango. is making their entry now. No tangos. So I will just quickly move his vision there. So he's now covering the corridor. On it. We'll go. Move him and the team down On here. Target. We've got good all round coverage here, which is exactly what we needed. Let's check that room there. Oh, man down. So they're distracted by that. So Team Alpha can come in the main lobby. Let's cover that direction. You can cover forwards. You'll cover that way. So we'll just check this office area here. I'll leave him covering the corridor. Let's bang this main room here. Move these guys down this way. Oh, that was a mess. I thought we cleared that room. Let's clear these. We'll hold here. Let's check the bathrooms now. In the wards. Let's get these back out to the main group here. One hostage secured. Let's get them out. To rescue zone. We have no other hostages yet found. You need to go check that bathroom. And we've got these rooms here to finalize, so... This is... Oh, that was it. Okay, there was one hostage. So there were bad guys still. There were two left. We didn't get those, but it counts it, so we call that a win. So not my cleanest run through. I lost a couple of guys. Sometimes you will. I... This is one of those games where I like to sit down in quiet and silent and just ponder the mission as I play it. Think about what I'm doing. Top down's also really awkward perspective to use sometimes i'm making excuses this game is a buttload of fun it is so much fun to play and it has so many different opportunities the maps are so different the game style is different door kickers 2 just came out i will be playing some of that on the channel now that one looks insane it is based in afghanistan it's military based rather than it being swap based and it is much more modern in terms of its graphics it's still top down but much nicer graphics and much more opportunities to do things so, highly recommend Door Kickers. It is a fantastic game. I should be checking to see if it's on my iPad because I would love playing it on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.